What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more All the Mod Six. I've had questions. I've had. I've. I've had people asking, when are we going back to All the Mod Six? We're back. We're doing some more things now. There is. Uh, there's kind of something that I want to do with this mod pack, and uh, I don't know how much more of the mod pack we're going to actually be doing. Um, so like, this is kind of like one of the last things I want to do. Now it's probably gonna take a while to do it, but uh, it's one of the last things I want to do. So hopefully you guys enjoy if you do don't forget to leave a like if you're new here don't forget to subscribe as well for some more so uh the last thing i really want to do is i really want to play with these bees um these bees are super cool the resourceful bees mod pack is like is is one of the like my favorite things in this whole all the six mod pack it's super cool uh, i mean okay there's a lot of stuff that i really like but the resourceful bees are super cool so i want to get all the resourceful bees so we're going to start working on that now this is my old base we're currently at my old base place now i need to uh i'd like to move my i'd like to move my reactors or some of them but i don't actually really know the way the the best way to do that uh let's see let's go ahead and organize that so let's go and do this uh do i have my dank on me i do okay does that have a bunch of sand in it we have a lot of sand we have 9.4 k sand all right so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our new base place and we're gonna start getting glass being made um boop. perfect okay and then we're gonna start uh moving some stuff over here no problemo look at that we have uh what is that, what is that? all the modium we have some all the modium just chilling right there it's great it's great um okay now uh let's see smelter input smelter output okay so let me grab some sand and then we're gonna go ahead and put all of that in there and i'm actually gonna do even more because we're gonna need a lot of sand for a lot of things all right so we'll let that do its thing now it's running off of a flux point power deal so i mean i guess it's okay for now but i'd like to move the uh the reactor over here eventually now there are in total there's 60 bees six zero bees and i'm actually kind of curious because this bee right here the spider bee i don't remember that being here i don't remember the spider bee being a thing because i looked for a spider bee because i really needed string and uh well now there's a spider bee and it's really cool looking it's black and red it looks super cool i like it um so we're gonna need a lot of things now i have an idea of how i want to lay things out so let me let me just grab some dirt and i'll kind of show you what i mean here um we're gonna put it up against uh well maybe we won't put it right up against the wall but we're gonna have a hive and i'm gonna go with the uh the tier one beehive and it only holds four bees max honey comes five that's fine with me i don't care i'm not worried about that but the reason i only want a tier one is because i'm gonna have different areas for different bees so we're gonna have four bees per area and then with that i also need a way to collect the resources so i have been using the item collector and i think we'll probably continue that but we're gonna need 15 beehives with four bees in each hive so like if we wanted to do say one two three four different uh you know blocks or four different whatever the bees need uh it's gonna go to like right there and then that would be probably the front and then we would have to space these out so like i would probably put uh, a wall here and then another beehive like right here possibly and then this would be glass this would be glass around here um and then we'll have to figure out a way to like collect the stuff and do all of that stuff but i want four bees per hive per area because uh some bees their 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 flowers their resources that they require are <laughs> they're super deadly so uh oh, darn it oh why did i do that i need to be careful with this mining thing okay i fixed my mess so yeah that's what i want to do i want to start getting that going but we need to get beehives first uh so i need tier one beehives what does that require grass and a uh, bee nest so we're gonna go out we're gonna hunt for some bee nests um i know i need i want to say it's 15 i think i need 15 in total i already have four so we gotta go find some bee nests and uh start making those yeah it'll be fun it'll be fun it'll be a good time so actually finding bee nests is super easy because if you just go to like to a large body of water uh there's like all these guardian nests and stuff they're just kind of like chilling and they'll work they'll do exactly what i need them to do 
Now, we could go with, like, some fancy-looking ones, because I bet you there's, uh... No, I bet you... Actually, I think Tier 1s always look the same. <gasps> oh! What is that one? That one's cool-looking. No, I don't want to do two... I don't want to have a, a two per nest, because that's going to make things, like, way bigger. <gasps> Ooh! Is that, like, a mushroom one? Oh, what are you? Are you a guardian bee? What? Lag! Huge lag! That's a guardian bee. Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm going to take your nest. My bad. Don't worry about it. <laughs> hey, what kind of bee are you? A mason bee. Hmm. I think I have these, but I'm not positive. Do I have any bee jars in my inventory? Of course not. Why would I have bee jars in my inventory? I need to clean that inventory out too. It's terrible. I know. I'm sorry. It's bad. Okay. Let's head back. And let's get these uh let's get these bee nests made. Actually, do I have shears? I think I'm gonna need some shears because I don't think I have any grass. Okay, I have a little bit of grass. Uh hello. Is it not gonna be nest? I need this. Boom. Seven. Okay, so we need more grass. Let's grab our shears and let's go grab some grass. Alright, so we've got the nests. Uh is it is it morning time? It looks like it might be morning time already. So we got the nest, um, and I start. I went through my inventory, I cleaned up some stuff because like it was a disaster zone. Now, um, I want to go ahead. I want to grab these bees out of here for now. So let's see. Let's go ahead. Um, pretty sure. Yeah. Come on, little bee buds. Come on. One more, a little slimy bee. Come on. All right. Is that everybody? Is that all the bees? Do we have all the bees now? Let's go ahead and throw these all into our inventory. Or our backpack, I should say. Let's check our chest. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and sort these. Let's take those. Oh my gosh. We've got a lot of bees. <laughs> We've got a lot of bees here. We're gonna take them all with us. Okay, so we have that. Now, I don't think there's any more bees anywhere else, which is good. Uh, let's grab our Paxel now, and let's see, let's put you in here, you in here, let's get those guys organized up, boop, perfect, and let's grab this, and then let's see what's in here, let's grab this chest too, because we'll probably need it for some stuff, uh, and then, I want to grab, let's go ahead and grab that, let's grab this, I want to figure out each cell that we're going to make, I want to make one, like, little complete cell, uh, that we can just like basically replicate over and over and over. So I want to have all the stuff that I'm going to need for that. So we have an item collector. We've got a redstone clock. We've got a dispenser. We've got the tier one beehive. Uh, I do need this. I don't think a silk touch pickaxe is going to pick this up though. If I'm not mistaken. Oh my gosh. It actually picks up the campfire. That's great. Okay, cool. And then we'll bring these blocks and stuff like that later. Uh, not super worried about it. I want to get the, uh, I want to get the layout of this thing going first here. Uh, this thing's going to town, so let's go ahead and grab a couple of blocks of those. All right, so we need in total 15 beehives. So let's go ahead and let's get a uh, beehive item collector. So if we're going to put a beehive there, that'll work. Uh, we are going to need a dispenser behind each beehive. And then we are going to need an item collector. Now, the item collector, I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. Because I think it needs to be in the same area. One, two, three, four. Or I could make these. Yeah, I think that's going to probably be the best option for us. Because this guy collects in that radius. Uh, but we can actually change the area in which it collects. So if we did, what, a seven by seven? That would be about right, because I think what what would a uh, what would it be if it was okay? So five by five. Oh, actually, a five by five would probably be be that would probably work pretty good. We could probably go with that. So in theory, we could put glass down on that one there there and here and then each little bee area will be uh, about this big 
So let's see, let's see how this is going to look here. Plus, we have to have 15 of these things. <laughs> 15! Yeah, we need a lot of them. Uh, okay, so if we did it like that, actually, it would probably be better if we did it this way. Like that. So that way this area is like nicely contained. Okay. So I think we'll go with that, but we need we need to make 15 of these things. This is going to be huge. This is going to be a gigantic thing. Okay. So, uh the space in between each beehive needs to be, let's see, let's grab our beehives. It's going to need to be so we got what? 1 2 one, two, right? So it's three away from every beehive. And that should be exactly the same on both sides. Okay. All right. So I'm going to get these placed down and we're going to see how big this area is. Now I need in total, I need 15 in total in order to do, to do this. <laughs> this could be a bad idea. Okay. So that right there is 15 beehives. That would give us essentially the beehive mall. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so good. Now, I'm, I, was, I wish I could hide this. I kind of wish I could hide this so we could actually see. Because there's going to be an item collector in front of each one of these. But uh, I don't think there's just really anything I can do about it. So it's going to kind of just look like that. So let me go ahead and let me get just the glass framed up. And uh, we'll kind of have an idea what this is actually going to look like. Okay, so we have our little B cells. Now, I do want to address, because I'm going to get questions about this, um, the apiary. I know people are going to be like, why don't you just build the apiary? I like being able to see the bees, and the apiary is like a solid block, and you like just put them in there, and then, I, you know, I like being able to see the little bees flying around and stuff. And, uh, yeah, why not? I, I think it's kind of cool, kind of neato. Oh, and a fish just died. <laughs> so... This is going to work for that, but we also have to get keep in mind the storage containers. So I was going to use storage drawers, and if we have four bees in each area, that means there is a total product chance of... So like if we went with... Uh, let's just go with like a, a diamond bee. Okay, so you will make... Because some bees have a chance to actually make something else. Uh, no, this, this, use... Uh, centrifuge. Okay. So 50% chance to make that. 50% chance to make beeswax. So beeswax can go in the same spot. But some of the bees, actually, no, that'll that'll actually work. So four, one for each bee, one for beeswax. Should work. So five storage doors in total. And I'm hoping that what we can do is I'm probably gonna pipe these up. Or I guess I could put them down below. Because then that way I don't have to have the pipe going up. And then we could just have a... Uh, we could have the storage drawers underneath of each one of these. Or we could always have them behind, too. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Because we're going to have this probably be, like, three high at least. So it's going to be at least that high. Uh, now, we could put the storage drawers on top. But I'd have to run a pipe up from that and then over to here. Unless we want, unless I want to switch these, unless I want these on the front of everything. Hmm. I'm trying to think of the best way to make this like look, you know? So that would be our glass box right there. And then right on one side of these, we'll have doors to each area. And I'm also going to put a sign with what bees are in here. We could run the pipe down underneath and then up the back and then have storage drawers in here. So we could put a storage controller and then one, two, three, four, and then five. And then this would be our little storage for this guy. That should work. Now, I don't know if storage drawers, I think storage drawers only work if they're connected. So as long as it's not connected to the one next to it, it should be fine. I don't think it wirelessly transfers. I think they have to be like actually physically like chained. Yeah, I think I think that'll work just fine. Also, I'm using blocks and not panes because panes always make things like connect weird on uh, on unsmooth edges. So if we want to decorate this at all, like it's gonna be super weird. Okay, cool. I like this. Uh, I think I'm gonna get the rest of the glass in to get to that point right there. All right, we are good to go. Uh, I gotta say the build tool is absolutely amazing for this. Uh, the build to me thing is just fantastic. So. 
Highly recommend it if you're playing all the mod decks. Get that build tool. It's super amazing. All right. So there we go. We have all of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to run each one of these. This is going to go down, back, and then probably up one of these sides and then into a drawer controller. And then we're going to put five storage boxes around it with void upgrades. So that way each thing will be collected. It'll be in its own little area. I can put a little sign saying like what bees are here and then wham, we'll be, uh, we'll be able to get it right there. Now I could throw ladders. I could throw ladders up here or not because I mean, we don't really need a ladder. We, we have a jet pack. So like, I don't really know if I need a ladder. Um, so let's do this. I really need to get a bunch more of these. We need to get more item collectors and then we need to find a good door, uh, for all of these as well. Now I was over at Miss C space and she had this like really cool warped glass door. Oh, a crimson glass door. Ooh, I kind of like the crimson glass door. What do we need for that? Crimson planks and window panes. Let's go. Let's go see if we can, uh, let's go see if we can make that. That sounds kind of cool. All right. Well, <laughs> apparently I had the stuff in my inventory. Heck yeah. Winning. All right. Let's go see how these doors will actually look on here. All right. Moment of truth. Ta -da! Oh, that looks pretty good. Kind of more of a, a purpley color than a red. Like I can dig it. I can, I can deal with that. That looks pretty cool. I kind of wish they had a black one, you know, like just like a, a solid black one with a window all the way around it or like a window in the middle with a, a black door. Hmm. Could have went with like dark oak or something, but no, I like that. I like that. We'll stick with that. There we go. All right. Doors are installed. Heck yes. Okay. So now for the item collector, Oh, the item collector is kind of a pain to make because I need to get, uh, I need to make, where are you? Item collector. I need to make this crystallized amber. Um, and in order to do that, I need like liquid magma and, or honey or magma block. But I think I'd rather go with, honestly, I think I'd rather go with gold because then we don't have to use magma blocks. So I got to make a bunch of these things in order to make all of those. Wonderful. Good gosh. This is going to be exciting. <laughs> this is going to be super exciting. Okay. So here's our solidification chamber. Now I need to make this. So that means I need fire charge, redstone, fire charge block of redstone and gold ingot. But we've got to make the liquid magma. I can't remember how to make that exactly. Um, melting chamber. It's the melting chamber. I think Is it the melting chamber. It's got to be. Okay. So melting chamber, put that there and then we can throw Let's see. Hold on. If I grab this, we'll throw that there. Do you have an output to kind of deal? No, you don't really have an output kind of deal. Okay. So if I grab that, we grab this, we throw this there. Uh, we need our wrench cable wrench, and we want to extract from there. Perfect. And then I need magma. Oh gosh. I have like no magma blocks. <laughs> uh, okay. So if I go there, there, Oh, geez, Louise, this is going to take forever. Uh, <laughs> I need to go get magma blocks. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think I have any. I don't think I have any magma blocks. Anywhere. Hmm. You know what? I wonder if we could use a mine. Um, because we do have a mine in the nether. Let's see. Uh, Pretty sure it's this one. Yeah, I wonder if we can use this to get magma blocks. Would you get magma blocks, maybe? Are there magma blocks under here, though? Now, see, I'm gonna have to run it, and it's got to go like way down here. You know what? I think it's just gonna be easier if I just mine it. In all honesty, uh, we're fireproof anyway, so we'll just I'll just go grab, mine some magma blocks. Why not? Okay, that was actually super easy with the vein mining. We're good. We already have what we need. Uh, let's head back. And let's make some magma stuff. So I should be able to throw what a stack in there and a stack in there. Hey, there we go. Perfect. Okay. So now for the actual item itself, this crystallized amber. 
We need a fire charge block of redstone and gold and then magma. Magma is going to go in there. So we need, um, what? I need 15 of these. So we need 15 fire charges. Okay. So we should have the stuff actually. Uh, gold ingots, a block of redstone, fire charges, and magma, which is going to go into here. So we could just bucket that in. I guess we could run a pipe into there. Uh, should we just run a pipe into there? So if I just run this there uh let's see hold on let's set this on disable disable that and then extract there to there heck yeah awesome okay so we should be good to go all right so fire charge redstone gold now will those stack yes they will awesome all right so we'll let that make its stuff it doesn't make two per deal no, it only makes one per deal. Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll let it make its stuff. And then we should be pretty much good to go on everything else. Um, I might need more iron. Let me go see how my iron situation is. Iron ingot. Okay, let's grab some iron because I know each one of those item collectors takes like three, uh, three of the hoppers. So I'll have to have a bunch of those as well. But I think we should be... Pretty good to go. We'll see. We'll find out. Actually, what do I need for more droppers? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll make them. We'll get them. Easy peasy. Okay, so we've got drawer controllers and we've got item control or item or item suckers, whatever they're called. Uh, I actually need to put some clay in here because I want to get the item cables made as well. So let's go ahead and throw all those in there and we'll let those do their thing. Okay, so now we should be able to go through and break each one of these and then we have, we're gonna have to set it uh oh i made a hole that's not good hole has been fixed don't worry all right so we've got all those made item collector uh that's backwards oh we're going to place these from the inside <laughs> wonderful okay so all the item collectors are in there oh my gosh this thing is turning out to be like a monstrosity this thing is huge. <laughs> it's huge. Okay, so we have those. Now, on each one of these, we need to get our drawer controllers. And we should be able to throw one basically right above all of these. I feel like these got a retexture. Did these get retextured? They might have. I don't know. Uh, we're going to put those right over the top of all of these. And then we need to throw drawers on all of them. Uh, I'm going to start down here. And so basically, one, two, three, four, five. So that should work. I think. I think that'll work. Let me let me look through here because there's some bees. I thought they dropped multiple items. Uh, so let's look at a. Uh, let's look at a guardian bee, maybe. I'm gonna click on uses. I'm gonna click on this. Oh yeah. So some of these do turn into other stuff. Hmm. Okay, so easy enough. Uh, we'll just throw another row on top for, for that. So one beeswax. That should work. And then hopefully these shouldn't. Uh, hey, nope, nope. Give me, give me those back. These shouldn't interact with each other because they're not connected. There's a block here, not connected. It should be good. Okay, so that's actually that looks pretty good. I, I'm not I'm not upset with that. Uh, this one's like sideways though. Why are you sideways? Can you not be sideways? There we go. Okay, so yeah, I kind of like that. And then each one we're gonna have like our little inventory items. Now, ideally, what's gonna happen is once we get these resourceful bees, like this is gonna be our main storage stuff. This is gonna be the main stuff because we're gonna have like iron and tin and silver and gold and vibranium and un unobtainium. Like everything should be made in these. Wow, I need a lot more drawers for this. Okay, so a lot more drawers, a lot more things. And then uh, we need signs as well because we're gonna have four bees per hive and then i also need oh my gosh i need a bunch of redstone clocks we need a bunch of fire campfires oh we need a lot of stuff i want to get everything ready i'm trying to get everything ready that way we'll be done building and then it'll be just purely on getting the bees themselves 
Okay, so I have enough drawers to finish everything. I have enough dispensers, clocks, and fireplaces to finish all of this stuff as well. So we are getting very close to having everything done that we need done. All right, all the storage drawers are in. My gosh, look at that. <laughs> that is a storage system if I've ever seen one. Okay, so now we need to go through and now we need to place in all of the campfires, redstone clocks, and the dispensers. That's also going to be interesting. Uh, Yeah, I should have put the dispensers in before the hives. Mm, yeah, I probably should have done that. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. Actually, actually I'm just going to take out the hives as well. Yep, I'm going to take out all this stuff. All right, perfect. So dispensers are placed, clocks are placed. Now, uh, if you're wondering what is going on here, I'm gonna I'll, I'll talk to you. I'll, I'll talk you through how this is working for me. Um, essentially, what it is is this redstone clock here. All it is is a clock. It just says like, okay, tick every so often. Uh, you can turn it down. You can turn the power down. You can turn how long before it ticks, how long it ticks for, uh, things like that. So that basically just ticks this every so often, which will then dispense a scraper. And the scraper is to remove the honeycomb out of the nest. Now we do have to go through and put a, uh, we do have to go through and put, um, a campfire underneath of each nest because like they'll get super upset at us if we don't. So I have to go through and, uh, basically place some stuff for that. I'm going to use glass blocks just so I know where everything's at and I can see everything. So let's just go ahead and do. So we don't want the campfire directly under it. I want it one block under it. So I want it sitting on top of this block right here. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. That'll work. Okay, cool. So I'm actually going to go ahead. I'm going to do this. I'm going to bring... Because we're going to need a row right here in order to cover this. So I'm going to bring that down. I'm going to bring that one down and then that one down. And then I'm going to delete these ones. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to use my building gadget. And it's going to build to me. So I can run way down here like this. And I can click that one, that one, that one. And then as you can see, it's basically, I can place my campfires on top of any of those now. So it'll be, it'll be good. It'll be good. Perfect. There we go. All right. So that is all set up, ready to go. We can go ahead and hop up here and place our campfires down, our beehives back down. And then for the most part, we're ready. The only, the last thing that I have to do is actually get the uh, item transfer system hooked up. And that won't be too hard whatsoever. So we can put that there. And then we can put a beehive right above that. These, wait, what? What's what's the difference there? Tier one, tier one beehive, tier one beehive. Hmm. There must be some like metadata or something with it. And then I'll put that right here. That's not the right way. That's not the right way. Why is that not facing the right way? I need it to be, what if I place it around this side? Nope. There's, we need that to be on this side. Otherwise it's not going to work. Okay. You know what? I might have to go through. Oh, we're going to go through and put a grass block down or something first in order to get this to work so i'm gonna place this like that and then like no that didn't work either what the heck there we go okay and then i can dig this one up and then we can put this one back okay so that's what we're going to do but you want to make sure that this little deal is facing forward because that's where they actually come out at they don't come out any other side they come out right here and actually I am just now realizing that this glass wall actually needs to be back one further because the honeycomb shoots out from all directions of this. Mm, we'll fix it. We'll fix it. Not worried. All right, perfect. So I moved the uh, I moved the glass back one off of the hive and that's because the honeycomb likes to shoot out in all directions. So it would have been getting caught. So I think that should work. Uh, I just need to go through, place all these item collectors on two, and then get everything piped up, and we should be good. And there's another part done. So I've got item pipes piped into all of these storage drawers here. 
Now, all I need to do is run them from underground from this guy into that on all of these. And the reason I offset them like I did was because if I have it right here, it's going to try to running into here. So I didn't want that. Even if I use the disable little thing, sometimes it kind of bugs out and doesn't work. Uh, and then I brought these out away from these. That way they're not trying to connect to these as well. So there's no other connection that they're trying to make here that just to confuse things, if you will. So that we are like almost, we're almost ready to go. I am about ready to put in our first bees. Now, um, the next thing that we need to do is I need to go through all of these and connect them all up to these pipes and then, uh, and then get them piped over. Cause we got to pipe them from here all the way to here. I don't think I'm gonna have enough pipes for this. Darn it. Oh my gosh. It's finally done. We have got everything hooked up. Everything should be good to go. I put all of these pipes on extract mode from the item collector and everything should run into those controllers up there. And then that everything should be done. Everything should be done. That should be it. This right here is enough to hold one of every bee. That was a little bit bigger than I thought it would be. <laughs> I did not think it would be this big. Uh, yeah, it definitely took a little bit more time than I thought it would for sure, but everything should be good. And uh, now we can actually start the fun process of getting all of the bees. Well, I say that's fun, but you know what? That's gonna be pretty bad too. It's gonna be just as grindy, but yes, look at that. Oh my gosh, we've done it. Oh, we have everything we need. So now I even threw up signs on these so we can go ahead, we can, uh, we can change the signs to say what four bees we have in each one. So the four, bees in each one and uh yeah this should work this should be fantastic but my gosh that's gonna end this episode thank you so much for coming out hopefully you enjoyed if you did like subscribe all the fun things if you want to check out all the mod six i'll link down below uh it's a pretty fun mod pack pretty interesting now i am playing on a private server it is not a public server so there's no ip there's no joining it there's none of that so uh yeah if you see anybody else like log in and stuff like that it's all admins it's all moderators things like that you know people i personally know so uh but yes oh my gosh i'm so excited to get this like full of bees so obviously we're going to just start down here we're going to put whatever bees we have already in these and just let them go to town i do also need to get void upgrades on all of these as well otherwise our systems will start backing up like terribly uh but that's not gonna be that shouldn't be too bad that shouldn't be too bad whatsoever so um but yeah that's gonna end it thank you so much for coming out hopefully you enjoyed like i said and i will see you in the next one